A good information program consists of delivering the right message from the right source to the right channel, the right time, to the right audience. The first requirement of a good information program is that it must be completely clear. So let's try that again, Al. A good information program consists of delivering the right message from the right source through the right channel at the right time to the right audience. That's better. Protection of the people in time of emergency is the fundamental purpose of civil defense. Many people are confused about the facts of the nuclear threat. Research reports show that confusion exists about the nature of fallout, its detection and measurement, about the relationship of blast, heat and radiation from nuclear weapons, about the physical effects of radiation on human life, animals and plants about the National Fallout Shelter Program, community shelter planning, and many other subjects related to the nuclear danger. Confused people will not support any program. Persons engaged in the civil defense information effort must see to it that civil defense is clearly explained in terms of what kind of protection it can offer in city, town, or county. This can be accomplished by simple, straightforward communications. The case for civil defense is a good one. Your job, get it across to the public. The right message may be chosen from a wide variety of civil defense informational material on every aspect of the subject. Pamphlets and other publications cover the field thoroughly. Emphasize the material you think may be most important in your community. If you are in a farm area, stress home shelters and civil defense information about animals and crops. In large metropolitan areas, information about public shelters is more appropriate. In any community, word about the shelter plan is vital. For particular situations, technical information from manuals may be briefed and restated in easy to understand language for the general audience. Reports of legislative hearings have literally dozens of excellent quotes for use in explaining national civil defense programs. Many audiovisual aids have been developed to explain the purposes and objectives of civil defense. 16 millimeter motion pictures on most civil defense subjects offer interesting and dramatic material for use in public presentations or on local television stations. One-minute theatrical trailers are available for showing in local movie theaters. Transcriptions and spot announcements may be obtained for radio presentation. There are newspaper mats, posters, billboard material, and material for exhibit at state or county fairs and other public gathering places. These and other public information materials are prepared and are obtainable from the Directorate for Public Information in the Office of Civil Defense. Considerable information may be drawn from the Civil Defense Adult Education Program materials. Color slides, color film strips or black and white prints make effective visual presentations. People want to know the authority for the information you are giving them. Statements on civil defense made by top government officials can be used to establish authoritative source. The Secretary of Defense, the Chief of Staff for Army, Navy, and Air Force have all gone on record backing the fallout shelter program. Their statements and those of prominent civil authorities in national life contain sober factual evaluations of civil defense. These can be used effectively in a well-planned information program. But the people in your community not only want to know about national civil defense in general, they want to know about their local shelter plan that affects them personally. It must be made clear to them that their local government has two basic civil defense tasks. To take all action necessary that would contribute to the saving of lives in an emergency, 
and to develop its community shelter plan so that it can advise or instruct people on where to go and what to do in the emergency situation. You represent your local government. When you have something to say about your local plan, enlist the support of local people in your community whose words carry weight with the public. Businessmen, educators, civil leaders, labor and industrial representatives. When the public has confidence in the source of civil defense information, they may be more inclined to pitch in and cooperate with the program. Never say anything to anyone off the record. Uh, just between the two of us, uh, strictly confidential. I wouldn't want this to get around. Everything about civil defense is on the record and backed up by good authority. Make no vague reports or statements that may be misquoted or misinterpreted. They could be harmful to civil defense programs. Credibility of source must be established early in your information program if the public is going to believe your further output. It is important that people speaking for civil defense should speak as authorities only in their own areas of knowledge. For example, the nuclear scientist is not necessarily an expert in sociology, and the sociologist is no more an expert in nuclear physics. Hi, Sam. How's the program going in Centerville? Seems to be shaping up. How about yours? Not so hot. What's wrong? Everything. Newspapers, radio, they're just not buying civil defense. Doesn't look to me like you're sending anything over to them. What's the use? When I do send it over, they're always changing the stories around. They keep spelling my name wrong, too. It's Alan with one L, I tell them. Comes out with two L's every time. One L, two L's, what's the difference? And let them work over the stories if they want to. Important thing is to get our message across. How they do it is their business. Half the time, they don't even use the stuff I send out. Just how do you go about getting your material out, Al? Give me a for instance. Well, I get somebody on the phone down there. What do you mean, you get somebody? Don't you know anybody at your newspaper or radio station by name? No, I don't. Anyway, I tell this character, whoever he is, that I got some papers on civil defense I'm sending down, and will he use this stuff? Stuff, huh? Is that how you put it? It's just a manner of speaking. You put it like that, you know what they're going to do with it, don't you? Well, you can't expect me to work up a sweat about it. We're not selling Miss America, you know. Look, friend, we're selling something everybody needs. Only lots of folks don't know it yet. Our job in civil defense is to make them know. But I've tried. How can I? Take the trouble to make some personal contacts with your newspaper and radio station. Get acquainted with the people who can help the program. They've got to understand that you're really interested in civil defense. What if they got a lot of other news to put out they think is more interesting? Then get an interesting angle on your news. There's lots of opportunities. You got to be on the lookout for them. Information is their business. Make them want yours. You do it upright. Make it newsy so they'll want to read it. They'll use it. Once you get them believing in civil defense, they'll be coming to you for material. Say, maybe you got something there. Think I'll get busy on this pile of stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, material. Give me a hand, will you, Sam? Civil defense information piled up on your desk isn't going to help anybody. If it's worth communicating, make sure you get it out through the right channel. In addition to your local news media, there may be other channels for information in your community which you can use. Schools, post office, banks, community organizations. Check up on them. Tailor your civil defense information to fit the needs of the media that will be using it. Public service time on radio and television is available, but on a highly competitive basis. Your material must be well prepared and of immediate interest. Getting your material heard at the right time may mean the difference between the success or failure of your program. And in time of emergency, it may be the difference between lives saved and lives lost. But remember, news is old hat quick. Don't wait to write a story if time is of the essence. Call. 
If you're expecting public participation in response to your message, allow time enough for it and repeat the message as frequently as you can. Avoid conflict with events which absorb a large share of mass media interest, such as major holiday periods. Don't try to fight Santa Claus for your public's attention. Stay clear of election periods or any time you know big things are happening that would distract from interest in civil defense. On the other hand, tie in with events that might provide a fertile ground for civil defense information. Don't saturate press, radio, or publications with one long story after another. Time your output for length and variety. And don't be a personal publicity hound. If your local media people ever get the idea that all you care about is getting your name spelled correctly, you won't have much success. Expect your copy to be edited. Professional media people may prefer to develop their own copy style, or they may see a more pertinent story in your material than you have indicated. Your objective is to get your story told. How they do it is their business. Public information personnel in civil defense will frequently be called upon to speak before special groups, such as educators, organization heads, clergymen, and civic groups. In all presentations, be prepared on your subject matter. And be sure you talk the language your audience will understand. Now, in nuclear fusion, a pair of light nuclei unite to form a nucleus of a heavier atom. An example is the fusion of the hydrogen isotope known as deuterium or heavy hydrogen. Under suitable conditions, two deuterium nuclei may combine to form the nucleus of a heavier element, helium, with a release of energy. The fusion of all the nuclei present in only one pound of deuterium would release roughly the same amount of energy as the explosion of 26,000 tons of TNT. And it would take about 26,000 tons of TNT to wake up an audience after a speech like that. Know your audience and keep your material in line with the group it's intended for. Keep in mind that your civil defense public information program should provide the public with information about civil defense at national, state, and local levels of government. Provide the public with life-saving and survival information and instructions that you have prepared or obtained in connection with the community shelter plan. And provide for necessary emergency information readiness in the event of emergency. Basic steps in day-to-day -day civil defense information activity are to create public awareness of the problem, to develop material for input to the various media, to follow up repeatedly to make sure your material is being used. The job of civil defense public information is to convince rather than to command, by all means possible. The federal government uses all of the mass media and provides guidance in working with them on the civil defense program. Federal cooperation with national organizations and commercial agencies has also been developed. Use these contacts wherever they will help your information program. But remember, first, you have to know who these contacts are and what they can do for you and the program. It's your business to find out. Expect disinterest and even opposition and try to overcome them. Don't get discouraged. Maybe you can get Miss America to make a statement on civil defense. If you can, be sure you get it in pictures. Now, let's have that definition of a good information program again. A good information program consists of delivering the right message from the right source through the right channel at the right time to the right audience. I think you've got it, Al. <laughs>